This video is not sponsored. I collated these pictures and videos so it may hopefully help you decide on whether you should invest in solar oven or not. Hey guys, my name is Shez. If you like me, I like free things. I'm currently living here in Australia. Depending on the size of the house and your usage, electricity and gas bills can be so expensive. It can be between $200 to $450 Australian dollars a month. So thrifty little me looked for ways on how to reduce our bills. So I searched and searched for a product that maybe suit our needs and hopefully lasts a long time. I decided on buying the Gosun Fusion Solar Oven. Yes, I invested exactly $901.88. Why? I wanted something that uses energy other than gas or electricity, and I don't have to continuously pay for the energy I use, thus saving money in the long run. This was two years ago, so the cost may have changed now. It's probably best to check out the website for the most updated price. You can check out their other products as well if you like. Like I said, it's been two years since I bought it. Keep in mind, I didn't use it every day, but I think I've used it long enough to give what my thoughts about this product. I like the way it's packaged. It says, from our family to yours, thank you. Thank you to you too, go son. I was so keen to get it tested. I didn't check the weather that day and just went for it. It didn't quite go as planned, it wasn't as crispy as I would have thought. The left side is from the solar oven, and the right side is where I fried the chicken from the stove top. I tried making different things I could think of. I ordered some silicone baking tray, so I thought I'd test it out. It fits perfectly. If you're new to using silicone baking tray, there is an after smell or taste to it, and I think it'll go away after several uses. Anyway, this came out alright. I tried making adobo with potatoes, and it was a success as well. I tried making different kind of bread with the same dough. First one is with cinnamon and brown sugar. The middle one is with sesame seeds. And the third one is more like a pizza bread where I put cheese, bacon, pineapple, and some pizza sauce on it. The temperature on the end part of the oven is always hotter, so I swapped the trays and put the pizza bread in the end. I think I cooked it for too long or the dough I made wasn't good, but overall I was happy with the outcome. For some reason, I decided to make another type of bread. This time, I put pepperoni on it and some cheese. It doesn't look appealing, but it tasted okay. <laughs> on this day, it's a nice sunny day and the temperature drops during nighttime. I decided to make some kind of soup. I put a canned tomato, some beans, zucchini, and some bok choy in it. I got some bread from the store this time and the soup turned out alright. It's 33 degrees Celsius or 91 degrees in Fahrenheit. Definitely need to cook something using the solar oven. I made two dishes. One was some kind of chicken dish with red beans and have put the wargle greens in last for some greens. Also made some barbecue chicken, which got burned because I went for a nap and forgot about it. Now, growing up, one of the snacks that I enjoyed eating was mung beans in a bowl with a bit of sugar. To cook this, I would get a pot, put the mung beans in it, with water obviously, and boil it for a long time till it's ready. I can't remember exactly how long it took, but I was using a lot of firewood and it cost money to buy the firewood. My mom wasn't very happy, so I stopped making it. With this, I can cook these suckers for a long time, didn't have to worry about firewood this time. I just need the power of the sun.
After the mung beans are ready, I had my snack. I had some leftovers. I can keep it for future snacks or make the rest for a type of dish that I don't know what it's called but remember eating it when growing up. I put onion, garlic, pumpkin, and some vegetable stock in cubes. Let it cook and dinner is ready. I was curious if we can cook hard boiled eggs and it would be alright to do it in the solar oven. It does work but I learned to put a bit more water in it next time so the eggs are submerged and it doesn't have that burnt brown layer on top. It was a bit rubbery for some reason but I still ate it anyway. At this time I decided to use a metallic nonstick baking tray which I bought from the local store. It doesn't fit quite right, only two of the trays sits okay but the third one isn't sitting right but it does the job. I was feeling healthy so I made date and walnut cake. This has no added sugar and very simple to make. I also tried making some plain scones. This was quick and easy to prepare and didn't take long to make it in the solar oven either. It turned out perfect in my eyes and tasted fantastic. From snacks, main meals, to desserts, it certainly can do the job. Thanks to the power of the sun. You go sun! Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, see the contact info below.